Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am actually getting ready to leave because I am heading down to London for a day tomorrow with ESN and then I'm going to spend a day at my nan's because she lives nearby which is going to be so nice to see her and my granddad and my family. So I am now here in London, I'm in my hotel room, I've unpacked my bits, I'm the type of person that has to like unpack even though I'm here for one night. I like to get my outfit out and everything I need for tomorrow just ready so I'm not like living out of a suitcase I just hate doing that um so yeah and I've just FaceTime Lloyd and Harley and yeah me and Hebe were just on the same train um obviously I was on my own for the first like hour and a half but then we were on the same train but um yeah we're in the same hotel and she's two floors below me so I'm gonna just go down and see her now um we're gonna order some food and Tonight we might go out for food or we might just order food again and just watch Love Island, which I'm not mad about. We are chilled people and we'll just see how we feel later. So yeah, tomorrow is shoot day and I'm nervous and excited because I've not done something like this before but I'm just so grateful for the opportunity and like the experience that it's going to give me and help me push myself outside my comfort zone which I don't often do which I need to do and something like this just like forces me to so yeah I'm so grateful to have this opportunity and I will try and show you as much behind the scenes as I can tomorrow um so you can see how it goes <laughs> nice and healthy before the shoe <laughs> I firstly look a little bit crazy because I am yet to put on my lip stain but I just want to do it closer to the time it is actually rare beauty I love this thing um but it is the morning of the shoot feeling a little bit nervous but really excited um just like practicing over what I want to say so it is a video shoot so we're talking about um some ESM products and also um exercise talk throughs so i'll i'm fine with them i do a lot of those for like my mic'd up and stuff um so i'm just running through like the esm products and um that's what i want to say so yeah i am super excited to meet the team and meet um a couple of the other girls um so yeah i thought i would just check in oh last night i didn't really vlog very much me and hebe um got an uber eats for a late lunch watching friends and we were like should we just stay in and watch love island so we did and we just got a taco bell then so i didn't there was no point vlogging much because we were just chit chatting we haven't seen each other in a couple months so we were just chatting and just enjoying our time together so yeah I didn't vlog very much but today is the day of the shoot and I'm going to try and vlog as much as I can it totally depends on how busy it is and what I can do um I think the gym is like a private gym so there might not be other like customers around um so if there's not then I'll just prop my camera up somewhere if I can um, and just get a little behind the scenes but yeah I am super excited and then it's gonna be that today a little bit of a busy day and then as soon as I finish then I'm gonna meet my cousin and her friend and head to my nan's because I just thought whilst I am all the way here in London and like half an hour 40 minutes away from some of my family here I was like I want to go and see them so yeah I'm just gonna go and see them for like tonight and majority of the day tomorrow and then I'm gonna travel back into London on a Saturday night I don't know if that's a good idea um but yeah and then get myself home to Wales at about half eight so not too bad 
so yeah i'm just blabbing on and i look <laughs> horrific with just lip liner but that's fine on all platforms come hang <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're at the gym now and we are soon to be starting the videos feeling nervous feeling excited though it's just us two here now yeah. so it's pretty empty this is the plate that i've been stood on because of our height difference <laughs> now home back in wales joined by this lovely friend on my cheek it was a very busy and tiring weekend um obviously thursday i was with hebe all night friday was the shoot day so much fun amazing i was nervous to start with but then as we were going on like i was made to feel so comfortable um and yeah the guys at ESM were just so helpful and it was just such a good experience and I'm so glad I did it it was my first time ever talking on camera um you know for someone else so um it's gonna be intimidating but it was so good for me to do um and yeah an amazing day so it is now a week later yeah literally one week later and um I've been meaning to answer my Q&A about my, car my calorie deficit for you. So I'm going to do that in this video and just merge it into one. So up until my shoe I was so good and really on it and disciplined. The week of the shoot, so last week, I only managed to get two gym sessions in because I was travelling and I was getting my hair done and stuff. So this week has been my first week back on track with my training. I'm doing session number five today. Um, I've done four, three sessions of cardio, so I'll do a fourth one today. Um, and that's going really well, but the only thing is food this week has not gone too well. Lloyd is currently redecorating our kitchen, so it's really hard to try and make food at the minute. So I've had a couple takeaways. I've kept them within my calories, but you know when it's just like, yeah, it's just not the best food and you just don't really feel your best. So, um, next week you should hopefully be back on track with the food, which I am excited about. And now I'm like, I literally have a countdown till holiday now. So, I have to be on it. Because if I start, you know, mucking around with my weeks, being like, oh, it's fine, like I've got plenty of time. Before you know it, there won't be plenty of time. So, anyways, let's answer the Q&A. How much do you cut your calories by? So right now, my calories are cut by 300 calories. So you ideally don't want to go lower than 500 calories below your deficit. Um, that's just when it starts becoming quite extreme. And if you have a low maintenance as well, it can then mean that you're on very low calories. So always think about doing a moderate deficit and especially to start with, it's always good to gradually take those calories down, especially when you notice a plateau and you, you don't see any changes, then little tweaks like taking the calories down should help that. Um, but also use your activity, so your cardio and your steps, to, um, instead of just cutting calories down all the way, use that as well. Um, but mine are down by 300. I also never mention my personal calories just because I wouldn't ever want someone to copy them. I think often when you think you look similar to someone, um, you'll assume like perhaps your calories will be similar, but our activity levels are probably completely different. I'm 
as much as you think I'm really active, I'm really not. I work from home, so me trying to get 10k steps has been hard. I'm getting like 8 to 10k a day. Um, and everyone always thinks I'm tall. I'm 5 foot 2 and I'm quite like a small frame. So yeah, I think sometimes the camera can make you look different. So always work out your own calories if you need help with that. I help clients with that or um, go on to Google and type in online calorie calculator and um, maybe try a, f a few so that you can get a average. Okay, someone said, I find it so draining and can't stick to it, but can you get the same results maintaining? So if your main goal is fat loss, then no, you won't be able to drop body fat if you're at maintenance. Um, Obviously, if you wanted to eat at maintenance and do a lot of activity, then yeah, because that puts you into a deficit. So, although you're technically not eating less, your body will be in a calorie deficit um, from the additional cardio. Um, but the best way to drop body fat would be to be in a calorie deficit through food and activity for um, the best results. And obviously, it will take you longer if you're if you're going to eat at maintenance. Um, I find it so draining. Yes, fat loss is draining. If it was easy, then every think everyone would have the results that they'd want. Everyone would look lean and toned, but we don't because it is hard. Our bodies are not meant to be in a calorie deficit forever. Um, you know, consuming less than what our body burns in a day. If you think about it, it's not the best place to put your body in, is it? Which is why we only do it for a certain amount of time so that we can drop body fat and then we'll go back to maintenance. So it is definitely draining. You'll lose energy. You won't feel as strong in the gym. This is all normal. Um, but as long as you don't go drastic with the calories, cutting them super low and also cutting out carbs. Carbs are our main energy source. So there are things you can do to make sure it's not completely draining. But obviously... It is going to be a totally different phase to if you're at maintenance. You're going to feel different. Okay, what foods to eat? So, it, you can eat whatever you want, but obviously it's better to eat cleaner foods. Um, don't cut out food groups. You need all your food groups. And it's a really good idea to start finding lower calorie alternatives to foods that you already eat that might be higher. So that way you're not eating too much less because you're finding foods that are lowering calories, meaning you can still eat more. I definitely say don't cut out your favourite foods because you will find it so hard to stick to a diet of food that is boring to you, that you don't enjoy, that doesn't have flavour. You just won't be able to stick to it. How long till you start seeing results? It totally depends on how strict you're going, how far into a deficit you are, um, and how actually on track you are. Like, when you say you're on track, are you actually hitting your steps, your cardio, your calories, your sleep every day? Are you going out for food on the weekends? Like, all of this is going to play an effect on how quick you get those um, results, and obviously, I always want it to be done in a sustainable way so sometimes people want results really really fast so they will go into an extreme deficit or cut out carbs do a keto diet and all these diets work because they put you into a calorie deficit but they're not sustainable once that diet's done and you've had your holiday or your photo shoot more likely than not you will put that weight back on because you can't sustain that diet a question i get a lot how to lose body fat but keep muscle so keeping muscle so it's inevitable that you probably will lose a little bit of muscle in a deficit especially if you go into a bigger deficit but high protein of course always high protein for any goal um keep training until failure keep training hard keep training heavy I know you're going to lose a bit of energy but still try and aim to train as heavy as you can um, and that will help you. Trying to lose arm fat but this is so difficult. So we cannot unfortunately spot reduce fat. We cannot say right I really want to lose fat on my arms, I want to lose it on my legs. We all have different stubborn areas. Genetically we um, just do. So you know for some they might lose weight on their arms last. Some might lose it on their stomachs last, on their thighs. So unfortunately, it is a case of just continuing with that calorie deficit and that might be the last area to drop that body fat. 
Do deep core exercises help a belly pouch? Previously overweight and can't get rid. So similar to my last question, um, you can't spot reduce fat. Being in a calorie deficit will help you lose body fat. Um, just keep continuing with it. Exercises are great because it is building the muscle and strengthening the muscles um, underneath the fat. But obviously, um, ab exercises and core exercises will not take the fat off, if that makes sense. So it's you're gonna have to continue with that. Don't mind my air fresher. You'll have to continue with your exercises as you are. Um, but calorie deficit diet is key. On the go, healthy snacks. Okay, so definitely some kind of protein shake. On the go, you could still make a little pot full of like Greek yogurt, fruit, honey, um, what else? Oats, I wish I liked oats, but I just don't. But you could make um, overnight oats, which is super easy. Um, even things like boiled eggs, not for everyone. Um, different kind of like snack bars so you can get some really good ones with great macros I love the ESN designer bars they are amazing how many cardio days do you do so I don't have a dedicated cardio day I train five days a week and the past for about three weeks I think or four weeks I did cardio probably four times a week but um, 15 to 20 minutes after my weighted session and yeah I think this week as well I've done I think I've done three and today I'm gonna do it although my calves are sore oh my god I'm trying to do the Stairmaster when you have sore calves it's hard um, but I am aiming for probably minimum three cardio sessions after my workouts because I am not active uh, during the day I sit at a laptop all day so for me that bit of cardio is benefiting me massively because it's making me more active burning more calories so um, you don't need to go overboard but it's going to help you so cardio is a great tool how you track progress so this is a good question it's good to do scale weight body measurements and photos don't just rely on scale weight because it will fluctuate each and every day so Photos is my personal favourite way to really track that progress and it is also a really good idea to get an online coach if you need help with that. That was pretty much all the most common questions that I got so if you have any more questions you can always put them in the comments and I'll help you out. Um, but that is just a little insight into a calorie deficit and also what I'm doing because my kitchen I'm not really able to make proper meals at the minute so as soon as that is sorted I'm going to take you through a full day of food um, and show you some more of my workouts. I might do like a week of workouts to show you my current split and things like that um, but if you have any video ideas then pop them in the comments and it'll get me thinking. I'm, I'm not going to say I'm going to do videos every week because I'm not like I just can't. I don't have the time so I'm going to try and do like two a month, one a month, I don't know, I'll see, but um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.